In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Gemini AI to upload, summarize, or learn anything from a book with the help of this AI tool. And the reason you might want to use Gemini is because right now it is just the best AI model and it has the highest context window limit. So it has 1 million token context window limit compared to around 200,000 for other models. So it is better than ChatGPT, than Cloud, than DeepSeek, and many other models. And not to mention, it is free. So basically, this 1 million token context window means that you can upload a book that is very, very long. Like, for example, you can upload several series of Harry Potter book, like you can upload uh, four or even five books of Harry Potter and AI or Gemini should be able to understand the whole story that you just uploaded. So here's how you can use Gemini to summarize or learn anything from the book. Now, uh, before we start, make sure that the book that you are trying to upload falls into the format of DOC, DOCX, PDF, RTF, DOT, etc. because these formats are supported in Gemini. If your book is not in these formats, then you have to convert them first into the format that is supported by Gemini. And after that, you can navigate to gemini.google.com or you can use the mobile version. And by the way, maybe there is something here that I think it is worth mentioning because right now the 1 million token context window limit is only applicable if you're using the pro or ultra version of google ai subscription so if you're using the free version you're probably only getting maybe a few hundred thousand token uh, context window limit which is still pretty good but it is not the highest version but don't worry because there is actually one alternative where you can enjoy the 1 million token context window limit completely for free but let me just cover the method on gemini first so first here you can click the add files button click upload files and then you can select the document that you want to upload in this case i will try to use a document called the epic of gilgamesh just upload and then you can ask the AI to let's say summarize this book or you can use uh, you can ask AI to do anything based on the document that you just provided. And by the way, just to give you a quick inspiration, these are some examples of prompts that you could use if you want to learn anything from a book. And of course, the full prompts will be available in the video description. Now, this is the answer from Gemini. As you can see, it is the summarized version of the Epic of Gilgamesh, although it's not really the summary i mean still a lot shorter than the original book but it is still very very long let me just ask it to summarize that in five bullet points summarize them in five bullet points hit enter and hopefully i can get a quick understanding of the story and okay there you go so uh these were created based on the document only it's not reading content from the internet it is just focused on the book that you just uploaded. Now, there's another feature that I want to show you that is available on Gemini. Let me start a new chat. Let me just upload the same book again. So the Epic of Gil Gilgamesh. And here, there is going to be an option to generate an audio overview. You can click it. And basically, it will create an audio podcast that is very realistic. It is actually a feature that is borrowed from NotWLM. And you can enjoy the book by just listening. And I think that's pretty cool. So I do recommend to use this feature if you want to consume content from a book, but you don't want to, let's say, read the whole content. So I think that's really nice. Now I'll just keep over and show you what the audio from audio preview would sound like. Okay, so the audio overview or the podcast has been generated. Let me play the result for you. Okay, let's unpack this. We're diving deep into the Epic of Gilgamesh. I mean, this is one of the oldest known works of literature. What's really fascinating is how the gods react. They actually hear the people. Back then. Well, it clearly shows a society. Who is terrifying, right? Yeah. Guarding the fort. Okay, it sounds just about right. Okay, now <clears throat> I have covered the tutorial for using Gemini AI to summarize or to learn anything from a book. Now, let's use another alternative that is completely free and in some ways better than Gemini, although it is still using Gemini. So the tool that I was talking about is AI Studio. You can navigate to this URL, astudio.google.com, and then navigate to chat, 
and here you're gonna select the model and i do recommend to use the latest model it could be gemini 2.5 or maybe gemini 3 4 in the future i don't know but just use the latest model and here you can see that the token count is up to 1 million and again this tool is free you can just log in with your google account and you can use some features from this tool completely without paying anything so that's why i still recommend using ai studio as an alternative if you're not subscribing to the pro or ultra version of google ai now the process to upload the document is quite simple just click this button click upload file and then select the file in this case i'm going to be using the same document and then just wait for it to be uploaded and there is another feature that i like that doesn't exist on the official gemini website which is this tool will actually tell you how many tokens in that book like it for example this document has about 10,000 tokens so it is definitely within the limit of gemini and uh, that's kind of giving you an idea about whether or not the document or the book is within the limit of gemini or should you just split the document into multiple sections now the process to uh, use the gemini on ai studio is still more or less the same just give it a prompt like for example summarize this book in five bullet points and then click run and by the way, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Plus because this model is known to be a lot faster than the Pro version, although it's not going to be the smartest, but for the task of summarizing a book or learning anything or gathering information from a book, I think that's actually the best model. So that's basically it. All the tools that you can do, all the tips and tricks that you could utilize on Gemini to summarize or to learn anything from a book. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.